Hi, I'm Dr. Arthur Bradley, and for some time I've been using my coral UV sanitizer to decontaminate uh, our disposable respirators that we use to protect ourselves from the COVID-19 pandemic. So today I thought I'd do a simple experiment. What I'm going to do is take a swab and swab the surface of my phone as well as the interior of a mask that I've worn, and I'm going to use those swabs and scrub them across the surface of something called an agar plate, which is inside this petri dish. And the agar plate just allows the bacteria to grow more efficiently. And then I'm going to place the plate inside of the incubator and let, it, let the bacteria grow at a controlled temperature for a period of time. And what we'll see is that there's going to be some bacteria clusters that grow on that agar plate. And then what I'm going to do for the second part of the experiment is take the respirator and take the phone and put them in my coral UV sanitizer, turn on the UV light, let it run for 10 minutes, and then swab them again and put it in a second petri dish and put that into the incubator and let the bacteria grow again. Now, I've never done this experiment before, so I have no idea how the results are going to turn out. But what we would expect is that once the object has been placed in the UV sanitizer and, and the virus is deactivated and the bacteria killed off, that we would expect to see much less bacterial growth. So between the two plates, we should see one of them, the one that we took initially, should have much more bacteria clusters on it than the one after we've done the sanitization. Now, I should say that we're working with bacteria out of convenience. The COVID-19 pandemic, of course, is virus-driven, but it would be difficult to show that on a video. Um, while there will be viruses on these dishes, we wouldn't be able to see them to the naked eye. We'd have to use some kind of microscope to see those. And so we're going to go ahead and work with bacteria. It should be much more obvious uh, how much bacterial growth there is in these two different Petri dishes. And so I think it makes for a better experiment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the first part of this experiment is I'm going to take a cotton swab and I'm going to gently roll it across the surface of my cell phone. Right, we'd expect our cell phone to have quite a bit of bacteria on them because we're constantly handling them as well as holding them up to our face. And then I've marked one of the, the Petri dishes dirty, meaning that I haven't cleaned the objects yet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the, uh, the dirty swab here and just on half of the Petri dish, I'm going to gently scrub it across, rotating the swab as I go. All right, just to kind of get those bacteria on what's called an agar plate, which is down in here. All right, and I'll set that aside. I'll, I'll go ahead and put this swab aside, and I'll use a second swab to do the same thing for the interior of the mask. All right, so this is just a regular N95 respirator, so I'm just going to scrub it around in here. Again, just trying to pick up some of the bacteria. And then what I'll do is I'll scrub it across the other half of the agar plate. Again, just gently rotating it as I go. All right. So that the whole plate now has been covered. Half of it uh, was samples from the cell phone and half of it was sampled from my disposable respirator. I'll go ahead and put that aside and I'll go ahead and put the lid on the Petri dish. I've already written the word dirty on it so that we know it came from objects that were not sanitized already. And I'll set that aside briefly. And then what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and sanitize the two objects and then repeat the experiment. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in so you can see how I do the sanitization. Okay, so to sanitize the objects, what I'm going to do is use this coral UV sanitizer. It comes with a little basket and I'm not going to do anything fancy for this. I'm just going to set the basket down in the, the sanitizer here. And I'll start with my cell phone first. I'll just go ahead and set my cell phone in there to one side. And then I'll take the mask and I'll set it in here. And I'm going to set it face up so that the bulbs, which are at the top, are shining down on this, the interior of the mask, which is where I'm swabbing it. So they get placed in the UV sanitizer. Then I'll close it up. It's very easy to use. I'm just going to use the sterilize only function. And I'll let it run for 10 minutes to sterilize it. And then I'll take them both back out and I'll repeat the experiment of swabbing them to create the second sample. Okay, so the sanitizer has finished cleaning. So what I'm going to do is open up a fresh pack of cotton swabs here. And I will take out the phone first. And I'll swab it. Again, rolling the Q-tip as I go here. All right. And then I'll go to this fresh agar plate and I'll just scrub it, rolling it across half of the plate, just like I did before. 
All right, so that's that one. And then I'll use a fresh Q-tip and I'll take out my mask. And again, swab it with the Q-tip here. Set that aside. And again, I'll apply it to the other side of this plate. Rolling it around again. All right, so this one has now been uh, coated with the, um, the swabs from the items that have been cleaned in the coral sanitizer. So I'll go ahead and write on it, clean. And now I've got both the dirty and the clean samples. I'm gonna put them in the incubator. It's uh, set for 33 degrees C, uh, which is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And the instructions say to put them in upside down, which is why I'm gonna put them in this way. And then we'll let them sit in the incubator for a period of time until we get some bacterial growth and then we'll check back in on the experiment. Okay, so it's been two days since I put the Petri dishes into the incubator. So we'll go ahead and open it up and take out the samples. We have both the dirty sample and the clean sample where the dirty one is the sample we took before we sanitized the objects and the clean sample is the one we took after we sanitized the objects. So I'll go ahead and zoom the camera in so you can see what these samples actually look like now. So I've gone ahead and zoomed in on the two Petri dishes. And the first one I marked dirty. This was the one where I just scrubbed the cell phone and the interior of the mask directly and then rubbed it across this agar plate. And what you notice is that there are a great deal of bacteria clusters that have grown. I can turn it over so you can see the other side here. You see all the little yellow and white spots of these bacteria growing. And then I repeated that experiment, but I used the sanitizer on the phone and the mask first. And that, the results of that are shown in this clean dish. And what you notice is that there are no bacteria clusters visible. And even if I take off the lid and you take a look at the underside of it, it's perfectly clean. There are no bacteria clusters on it. So it's really a very interesting and very compelling experiment to how well the sanitizer worked in removing the bacterial contaminants. This was really an interesting experiment for me. I've been using the coral UV sanitizer for some time to disinfect disposable respirators during this pandemic. But to see the results firsthand were really compelling. The difference between the products that were not cleaned and the products that were actually sanitized in the coral unit are just really dramatic. And so I'm very confident that it's an effective product and I plan to continue to use it to disinfect the mass as well as other products in our home. I hope that this experiment was helpful to other people as well. I did a lot of research on UV sanitizers before I bought the coral unit. And I bought it for two reasons. One, it's very simple to use. And two, it comes with two very bright UVC bulbs in it, which really put a lot of intense light on the products. And I've been very happy with the unit. I've been using it for several months now. So I reached out to the manufacturer and I asked them if they would provide a discount to my customers. And they have offered to do that. So you might check out the notes down below the video uh, for the discount code to save yourself a few dollars.